So going well, into the new season, has your character come to terms with the fact that she's now been brought back to being alive and being, I guess, human, human feelings? Has she forgiven Quentin for that yet? No and no. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't come to terms with it by any means, and uh, she's very angry at Quentin for what he did. I mean, he basically told her what her life should be now. I mean, she 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 wanted to become an infant. She sacrificed herself knowing what would happen. And when she got there, she realized it was the best thing ever. And the relationship with magic she'd been looking for her whole life. And so she's very angry to be back in her human body and to be forgetting what magic was like in Niffin Land. That's what I call it. Um, so yeah, no, she's not happy. Not that Alice has ever really been a happy girl. Uh, but no, I think there's a lot of secrets in her head, at least in my mind. She learned so much as an infant that we haven't gotten to explore yet that I hope happens this season. I get to play like 20 different versions of Alice, whether people realize it or not. I was trying to really like be very meticulous and make slight changes all the time because Nip and Alice is so much worse than what we saw on TV. And But she was stuck in what uh, the projection of Quentin's mind. So she's going to look like Alice. And, and I wanted her to be blue and be flaming like in the books, but the way we played it, she's stuck in Quentin's head. So it is Alice as he knows it, kind of. So it was fun to play this character that I love so much. She's pure, demure, very intelligent woman and then make her go bad, basically. But through the same Alice eyes. It's so hard to not just like go deep philosophically as an actor with these kind of questions, but um, no, it was so fun. I, I have so much more fun playing rabid, feral characters, and it's what I'm used to. So it was, it was good to do that through Alice's eyes, and to get to torture Jason Ralph is the best thing ever, because we spend so much time together, it's fun to like really fuck with each other. Period. <laughs> I mean, we just started shooting, so I'm not sure. I don't have a real answer. Um, Alice's intentions right now are to find magic again, and she wants to be a Niffin again. In my mind, that's where she's at. So she doesn't really care what the other characters are doing, but they all have this goal, and they're all on a journey right now to get magic back. So I would imagine they're going to meet up at some point and have to deal with their personal relationships, because that's the theme of this show. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like thinking about it. And I'm like, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. The last couple episodes of season two were my favorite to shoot. Honestly, I mean, I love working with Jason so much. We have such a good time, and we really meet at the same level of how we feel about the work. And playing those scenes in Breakville South, when he brings her back, I think are really beautiful, and they give us a lot of space to, to personalize it and make it feel real. That's what's so great on the show, is they don't tell us how we're supposed to feel in every scene, and they let the actors make the complicated decisions in their head about where these characters are going. So they give us the bullet points, but like really they let us be like, this is how Alice is feeling right now towards Quentin. So, uh, I don't know. I forget the question. I'm reminiscing now about how much fun it was to shoot, except for the bacon. I ate so much bacon, shooting the bacon scene. But now I'm eating bacon again. I didn't eat it for 15 years. And so now, like, I had bacon this morning. So a lot of bacon. I, again, I don't know what your question is. <laughs> oh. It's just easy to do that with Jason. <laughs> I, I know you have a comedy background. Uh, but what's it like? This season had a lot of comedy in it, mixed with the drama. And yeah. you had a little bit of that too, so what was like to kind of incorporate that aspect? I mean, I was really excited to sign on to a sci-fi show. I love sci-fi so much. Um, and I do have a big comedy background, but I, I had no intention of playing a comedic character. And I don't think Alice is funny. I think she has a very dry, smart humor about her. Which, for me, is what attracted me to her. Um, Alice is not the butt of the joke, or she doesn't set up the joke. She just kind of says, like, the thing nobody's thinking about the joke. And that's fun to play. 
um, I like when I get a joke every like I get one like one an episode maybe, and I specifically be tell them don't write funny things for Alice because it's not she's not the funny one in the bunch, and I like that. Oh yeah, totally. She's the smartest one in the room. She always will be. Arjun hates when I say that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know, I'm asking myself that one right now. I don't know what they're gonna have us, I don't know what kind of interaction Julia and Alice will have this season. I imagine they will have one, but um, she's always had a very complicated relationship towards this girl named Julia that she doesn't know very well. You know, jealousy and all that kind of stuff. And, and I think she will always feel that way towards her. And, but she also has the thing that Alice wants right now, which is a spark of magic. So I don't know. But yeah, there's always going to be an animosity between those two characters. And yeah, maybe they'll like fight to the death. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. Probably not. That's like season like 13 when they've given up. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I like my heart fluttered. I was like, oh my god, so many things. I love all the creatures. I'm a big creature and beast type fan. And I keep pushing really hard from like unicorns and pegasus and all that kind of stuff. So I would love to have any of the animals and the talking animals be a part of this world. Yeah, I could also live in a castle pretty easily. Yeah. The castle art. Oh, wait, our castle set? Yeah, I, I have. I, I, I was in Europe and I was like, all I want to do is go see castles. I grew up in the central coast of California at Hearst Castle. I grew up like just near there, so I went there all the time. Yeah, yeah. No, my boyfriend and I were just in Italy and, and we went and I was like, we're going to castles, so yeah. Yeah, I would. I'm, I, singing makes me really nervous. There's so many singers on our show who do it professionally, so it's very intimidating. But it's fun to do as the character. Like, I was the first person to sing in episode three, I think, of the first season to get my brother back. And I was like, what? Sing? Nobody sings on this show. And I had to find a version of that song that felt like Alice singing. So there's safety in, like, the character. You don't have to be the best performer in the room because Alice isn't a singer. But um, I don't know. I don't know what I would want to say. It's the worst answer. Thank you, guys. Okay, thanks, guys.